Hey guys, welcome to our home away from home. Actually, our favorite home. So check it out, we got a review for you today. The people at Sportneer reached out to us and say, hey, you guys do a lot of overlanding, a lot of camping. I imagine that you use sleeping bags, which we do. And they said, can we send you our sleeping bag? We're rolling out a new product and we'd like for you to use it, test it in all the kind of conditions that we, we use our gear in here in Colorado and other states that we travel to. And they asked us to just check it and test it and say, you know what, give us your thoughts. Tell us what you think about it. And if you like it, shoot a review on it and post it on your YouTube channel. So that's what we're going to do right now. We got this new sleeping bag from Sportneer a while back. And I want to tell you, we've had a bunch of different sleeping bags. Some that our daughter have used, some that we have used, Natalie and myself. And we've used them in all kinds of conditions from like dead of winter, 10 degree temperatures to more moderate spring or fall time temperatures. And then in summertime, we usually don't use sleeping bags too much. But right now we're at 11,000 foot elevation here in Colorado. It is June 2020 and it dipped down into the 30s for the past two nights. So let me show you the Sportneer sleeping bag and how it held up at 30 degree temperatures. All right, guys, pardon the angle, but it is what it is. This is the annex for our rooftop tent, which is right above us. All right, let me show you the logo. This is Sportneer. This is the bag that the sleeping bag comes in. And I'm going to fold it all up for you when I'm done. But I wanted to show you the sleeping bag now. Quick, quick disclaimer. We've been on the road a lot. We've been overlanding for a lot here recently. And we get home quick, do a whole bunch of laundry, get things cleaned up, and we're kind of packing to leave on our next trip. And in the process, we washed this bag, I think, twice at hot temperature. Our mistake, we're supposed to wash this at cold. We washed it at hot. So the beautiful Sportneer decal, well, we pretty much made it disappear. And that's on us. We didn't follow the directions as far as washing this. It was an accident. It just, our washing machine defaults to hot instead of just staying where we left it last time. So, but that's the only thing that has gone wrong with this sleeping bag at all. And it was our fault. It wasn't any fault of the sleeping bag at all. So this thing, I want to tell you, it packs up into this bag. It is small and lightweight and it has worked well at 30 degrees. And that's not always the combination you get something that's small and light and will work at 30 degrees. We all just kind of know that. So let me get this guy out of here and this, and let's start showing you the sleeping bag down here as it sits. One thing, you can see the shape of it. It's got a place for your head. It's got a drawstring here where you can pull that in and really keep yourself warm. But mind you, at 30 degrees, we didn't even have to do that. It wasn't even necessary. So we'll open that guy back up. Another big plus feature of this bag is it comes with a liner. Now the liner is really nice. A lot of people love liners. Some people hate liners. It just depends on you. Some people liners make them feel a little bit claustrophobic because they make your sleeping bag feel a little bit smaller or they can kind of bunch up on you. But check it out. The Sportneer has kind of solved that problem. Let me show you how they've done it. First off, big key up here. There's a Velcro at your top zipper. Really important when you're in cold weather because just moving around, you can kind of make that thing open. But if you're Velcroed here, if you're Velcroed here, you're moving around as you sleep you don't open up your sleeping bag. So that's huge plus. When you open it here, you can see right here, the liner is zipped into the bag. You can see how it's zipped right in. So it's zipped in on both sides. So as you turn in your sleep, if you're like me and you spend some time on your right side, some time on your left side, some time on your back, if you're turning every couple hours, man, and you're in a liner that doesn't zip in man that thing will wrap around you till you're like just stuck this one alleviates that problem really cool feature easy to zip in and out the liner and i think most liners give you about another 10 degrees of temperature drop and i will say that last night our daughter bailey slept in this sleeping bag at about 30 34 degrees something like that without the liner in it because she wanted to try it without the liner and slept just fine at low 30s without the liner so it kept her warm that's a huge plus for a sleeping bag that's this small and this lightweight so i wanted to show you more i'll hop right in it here real quick i'm six foot one you know not super tall but not a short guy and i want to tell you that there is plenty of room plenty of room for me in here to get my feet all the way to the bottom 
to have my head supported in here so I could wrap up and get fully enclosed in this thing, kind of mummy or cocoon style if it got really, really cold. And it's plenty roomy enough too. You know, it's a one person sleeping bag, but it's not one that gets so narrow and pinches down so much that you feel like you can't move. Still got enough for moving the space. All right, so this is our daughter, Bailey, who slept in this bag last night. Uh, wait, hold on. There you go. Now she's good. So Bailey's eight years old and she has slept in this actually a couple nights. And how do you like it, baby? I love it. Here, sit up a little bit so they can see you. So this one's good? Uh-huh. All right, so do you got room to move around in there? Mm-hmm. Good. I, I kind of toss and turn. Yeah, yeah. The, Bailey runs at least five or 10 Ks, maybe marathons in her sleep. She still stays in this sleeping bag, which is a huge thing. We've had other sleeping bags for her before that she moves around so much that it ends up, but she'll be freezing curled up in her sleep and the sleeping bag will be down by her feet. This one, we haven't had that issue. I think because it closes up so well at the top, she stays in it. And I think the liner in it helps with that as well. Um, so Bailey, what do you do like last night when it was super cold? How do you sleep in this thing? Yeah, she just dives to the bottom. And did you stay warm last night? Too warm. Too warm, she says. One, very comfortable. Yeah, really comfortable. She slept great. You know, we sleep up above her and we look down on her periodically just to make sure she was staying warm and she was fine, doing great. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you the Sportineer bag has been great for adults, great for children. It all around is a really good bag. We would not be shooting this video if we didn't, if we weren't glad that they sent us this. We're keeping the sleeping bag for sure. Um, I think what we're gonna be doing is using this one for Bailey, since we have a two-person sleeping bag that we need that we use upstairs sometimes. But I want to tell you, if you're a single person or you want two individual bags for a husband and wife, or for your children, man, this bag is rock solid. We're going to put a link in the description box. You can get it right off of Amazon. Now I'm going to show you what it looks like, all packed up, how small it is, and it is really nice. All right, so this is the bag all buckled up, tightened up, and it's got these really cool buckles on it. You can see you can just tighten those and you can make it smaller. I didn't want to make it too small because you can actually make their logo disappear, but since they were kind enough to send this to us, I thought we'd be kind enough to share the Sportineer logo, but you can cinch these things down, make it smaller and smaller. If you put a little weight on it, like your own body weight, you can get this thing to compress down really small. So that's it, cool design. This is a hit for us, definitely a keeper. So we're always trying to find new cool gear for you guys to help your overlanding experience, your camping experience to be better, easier to get there, easier to set up, easier to tear down, lighter weight, things that are smaller and lighter weight that still do the same job as a heavier thing. Man, in the overlanding world, you guys know that that is huge. If you haven't yet, subscribe to SAR Trail. We have a ton of real world overlanding footage coming for you guys up just shortly. Thanks a lot.